fresh killer. What up, tribe? What up? What's going on? Uh, I hope you all are doing well. I wanted to speak rather candidly about the situation concerning Mr. Kyrie Irving and this debacle over him posting a quote unquote anti Semitic video um, and the fallout behind that. Well, um, a lot of people have pointed out the fact that he's being uh, absolutely torn asunder by the media for posting something, whereas no one has said anything about Jeff Bezos or Amazon for selling this content. And I think that that's a very valid point. I watched the interview afterwards of Mr. Irving and he's very careful with his words. He does not promote um, anything involving the hatred of Jewish people or anything. And I, 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 I ju he just posted it in his Instagram story and I believe on his Twitter as well. Now, listen, here's my deal. We're talking about a bigger, a much bigger issue, right? Because this controversy that Mr. Kyrie Irving is in right now is very similar to the controversy that the wide receiver in the NFL, Deshaun Jackson, found himself in um, a year or two ago, which is also similar to the situation that Nick Cannon found himself in, uh, what, a year or two ago, which is really similar to the situation that Kanye West now finds himself in. And that is they are all espousing this idea that black people are the original Hebrews and our identity was stolen. I want the powers that be, the media, uh, the business owners, the billionaires, the wealthy, the people that control the narrative. I want them to understand that that is a religion that Black Hebrews and Black Israelites, it is an actual religion. And I thought about this when Nick Cannon was uh, was was interviewing Professor X and he said that on, on his podcast. And it, he apologized profusely later on and had a rabbi on and all these things and went through all the notions, uh, all the motions to, 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 to ask for forgiveness. Uh, in, in, for corporate America, for white America, for mainstream America. And he did, right? And I guess he was welcomed back after he crawled on his knees. And I say that he crawled on his knees because there's nothing wrong with apologizing if you're wrong. But what people are doing is they are asking these black men to renounce their religion. When it comes to Kanye, a lot of people are saying that, oh, he's talking about, you know, these, 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 these conservative talking points, right? And I think that the ideology that is most consistent with what he's saying is that of the black Israelites. And so when you take someone like Kyrie, um, who identifies with, 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 with this narrative as well, he identifies with this theology, and you ask him to say he's sorry and repent, I think that you're doing something very dangerous because you're asking someone to sacrifice their identity, to sacrifice their soul in order to work. And you would never try to pull that on a Muslim person or a Hindu person or any of those other people, right? Or any of those other groups. But because it's this religion and it makes you nervous, it makes you feel uncomfortable, you say it's patently false. And I've heard all of, all of these things, oh my goodness, in, in the San Francisco Chronicle, of course. And in the New York Times and other well-respected publications, right? The I, the, there's definitely no such thing as objectivity. And as of late, there is no such thing in even trying to attempt to be objective, but I digress. In these papers, uh, th there's no attempt to use your rhetoric, use your logic and lay out all of the reasons that Mr. Kyrie Irving is wrong. There's no debate. 
right? There's no, um, there's no uh, critical thinking and engagement. There is only condem condemnation and uh, and force. And this is a problem. This keeps coming up over and over again. And so these black men that espouse the virtues of this black religion, every time they do do it, you know, widely or any any time that they do it on their platform, then you ask them to apologize and crawl on their knees. Kyrie Irving, they gave this dude six. <laughs> I want to read this. They gave him, uh, they gave this guy, they gave him six requirements. And it says, apologize and condemn the film promoted. Make a $500,000 donation to anti-hate causes. Oh, it's about the money, huh? Complete sensitivity training. Complete anti-Semitism training. Meet with the ADL and Jewish leaders. Meet with team owner Joe Sy to demonstrate an understanding of the situation. Oh my God. You must be kidding me. Like, what are you talking about? Like, he stated that this is what he actually believes. So now what we're seeing is colonization all over again. We're, we're seeing the crusades all over again. This is mental subjugation. This is psychological repression. And this is spiritual death. We are asking him to sacrifice what he has said that he believes in as a religion, something that he he practices and believes in his heart. And you're asking him to renounce it for money. This is sickening. And I don't condone it. I, for one, I don't practice, I'm, I'm not a black Israelite, but I come from one of those black communities where either black Israelites or black Muslims were there. And they shaped my ideology, the notion that the original man looks like you. I grew up hearing things like uh, uh, people referring to white people and saying things like, I'm the original man, you were man-made. <laughs> and those things meant a lot to me, trying to shape uh, who I was and trying to identify with something prideful when all February and and, and and a lot of times all on TV with black history, all you would see is 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 a pornography of abuse, of black people getting hosed down, of black people trying to sit at, at, at lunch counters as black women being assaulted and bit by dogs. And you saw that you said, where, where, where is my identity as a man in this black skin? And when I saw the Muslim brothers who have similar ideology um, stand upright and say that you are special and we are special by birth. These are things that I was not learning in school. Um, these are things that I definitely was not seeing on television. And so I understand the significance of this kind of thought process to an oppressed people. And I understand how it can, uh, how someone like Kyrie Irving and Nick Cannon and Kanye West and Deshaun Jackson can gravitate towards this because you have money, you have made it, but you still feel spiritually lost. And it hurts me when I see the approach taken uh, 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 against all of these people that has been taken. And it also hurts me when I see black people advocating for the, the for these black men to be discarded. So that's how I feel about the situation. Uh, I would assume a lot of you all disagree and that's fine. This is the place to disagree. Go ahead and disagree with me in the chat or if you agree with me, then that's cool too. One more thing I wanna tell you is subscribe to the tribe. Peace tribe and another one.